Aloha, everyone. Welcome to Activate and Elevate with Sheila and Jan. Today is December 16th. Can you hardly make in your mind the connection that we are almost out of 2022 and into 2023? What do you think about that, Miss Jan? You know, I got to be honest, 2022 is the best year of my life. Wow. Yeah, best year of my life. So I, I hate to see it go. <laughs> Well, well, could it be that 2023 just carries that goodness on for you? I, uh, that's, that's my goal. It will be better <laughs> yet. What did you say, Sue? It will be better yet. It will be better yet. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, Jan and I are here today to help you um, and anyone that wants to watch the replay, everybody that's in here, we are going to so set some SMART goals because we are coming into 2023. And you know what? It's better to get your mind set up versus waiting and waiting until you're actually in 2023. We're only 14, 15 days away. So let's kick it off now, okay? All right, so I'm going to screen share and we are going to learn about SMART goals. All right, so let me grab this, I'm trying to do it. Okay, good, I'm screen sharing, thank you. <laughs> okay, so a SMART goal, what does that mean? SMART is an, an acronym for the first one, specific. Your goals need to be specific and you want to make them simple and you have to be able to see yourself in that goal. Literally having a vision of you achieving, reaching, meeting your goal. M. M is for measurable and that it is meaningful to you. Okay. When you create a goal, your goal needs to be all about what you wish, you desire, you want to achieve, you want to become, not about what my husband wants me to do or my kids want me to do or my parents want me to do. What is this goal that is specifically meaningful to you? A stands for as if now, as if now, meaning like it's already part of you, like you have incorporated this goal into your life and you are already achieving it achievable it means that it is achievable if i said today we're, we're going to install a goal into our timeline and if i said i want to become a senior presidential director by december 31st of 2022 that is an unrealistic goal unless some magnificent creation happened in 14 days because I'm I'm headed to serene senior director so your goal has to be achievable okay and it can be in all areas of life all areas of life and what does that mean that means that across the board whether that's in your um, marriage in your career in your playtime in your community in your family all of that, all areas of life are open to creating a SMART goal. Realistic. Okay, wait, let's go back up to measurable. Measurable is a specific time and we're going to create our, our goals right now. We're going to set goals that are within a six month time frame for you. Okay, now let's go back to realistic. So what can I realistically achieve in six months? Now, if I said I want to be a millionaire in six months, that's what 100 and, uh, 180 days right and in 180 days if um i'm not even sure how much money that would need to make in 180 days mm, less than 10,000 but darn close to it right to hit a million so that's not a realistic goal but can you I love it. if you are currently a manager and you want to become a senior director in six months, that's a realistic goal. You could do it, okay? Responsible, what does that mean? That it means that it is being responsible for the actions. Are you going to take responsibility and achieve the measurable goal that you set for yourself? Timed, okay? 
a timed goal. We have six months and we're gonna toward what you want means we're working towards that. It doesn't mean that it sends us away from our goal. It means that we will work for it. So down here at the very bottom, it says, it is now future date and I am do or have the outcome that you're gonna have. And then, so you need to say, it is now March 16th, 2023, and I am an executive director. I know this because I see it on my back office. I hear myself screaming out loud with excitement and joy. I feel so happy and accomplished, and I say congratulations to myself. I achieved, achieved this because I went belly to belly and I talked to every single person I could about becoming a member of LifeWave, about receiving patches, about whatever it is that your goal is. What are those resources that you personally have? And starting with the first step. So when I actually wrote a goal and inserted it into my timeline, one of the things that I said, I achieved this because I forgave myself. That was my personal resource. I was willing to forgive myself and forgive others that I had fought with. And it shifted my whole reality. And, and now I have a different, I've achieved the goal. So when you are achieving goals, it's all about you. What do you got about that, Jen? How do you feel about that? Um, I feel good. I've never been a great goal setter, but the way that you're breaking it down makes it easier for me to, to comprehend and something that I think I could do. Beautiful. I apologize for my dog barking guys. So here's a worksheet and, um, a lot of people don't know I am actually a life coach and, um, this is one of the sheets that we work with on um, with my clients so the first question um who do i need to be or not to be to achieve my outcome all right and one of the things that um uh, that we work with in um, neuroenergetics is called the physiology of excellence and so that means finding people that are um who have already achieved what you're looking for, what you wish to achieve, what you wish to become. For me, some of my, um, my personal people that I wish to be more like are Kathleen Nichols and Marcy Preble and Peter No, because they've already achieved senior presidential director from their actions, from how they behave, from their belief systems, they have set themselves a goal and they achieved it. Values, values are critical because what is important to me is not necessarily important to Jan, okay? And from that, you have to also decide, does anything need to become less important, okay? I'm setting a goal of becoming a senior director by the end of the month. Does that mean that I have to get off um, Twitter, which, oh my God, they finally let me back on after a two year suspension. <laughs> <laughs> we won't go into that any more than that. Um, you know, get off social media. Does it mean stop watching TV if you love TV? Does it mean, you know, not that I do this, but <laughs> hanging out at the beach all day long. I couldn't tolerate that. Whatever it is, does something need to become less important in your life? What empowering beliefs do I need to have? I need to have the belief of confidence within myself. Okay, that's for me personally. I have to have that belief. What limiting belief do I need to release? Well, I have been doing training with a new group of students in in neuroenergetics i've been helping to crew the program and last well, two weeks ago i released a limiting belief that i was not a network marketer and crazily enough uh, when we discovered where it went it went back 
35 years ago to an experience I had. And I, in that moment said, okay, I'm deciding I'm not a network marketer, but you know what? It's no longer true. So what limiting belief do you need to release? Very, very important. Your potential. What capabilities do I have? All right. Well, I'm smart. I can talk to people pretty easily. I have an amazing story to share about my knee. What do I need to learn? Well, one of the things I needed to learn, which has been shifting for me greatly since Marcy started office hours, was the ability to get on the phone and be comfortable calling and talking to people. All right. What resources will help me? Well, I just said one resource. One is the office hours. A lot of things can shift for you when you are in that office space with Jan and Marcy. I don't know why that's there. I'm like, my mouse just stopped moving. Sorry. There we go. So what other resources do you have? Are you smart? Are you courageous? Do you have personal strengths? like inner strength? Are you persistent? Are you consistent? List your resources. What are my action steps? Okay, well, what do I need to take to achieve those goals? Because if you decide to stick into your timeline that you're gonna be an executive director by the end of these six months, let's say June 30th, then are you going to sit back on the couch and just wait for it to happen? It won't. Okay. I'll tell you right now, if you just wait around for this business to explode around you, I'm going to pop your bubble. It isn't going to happen. Okay. You have to take action steps and what behaviors and habits must I start and or stop doing to achieve that? Okay. And then the environment and the results. What will my outcome get me? What will I have or gain? Okay. Well, what will I gain if I hit executive director? I will gain income, resources for my family. And there goes my dog. Sorry about my dog. Is my dog too loud, Jan? Mm -mm. Okay. I will gain um, financial resources. I will gain freedom. Why? Because I will have freedom from the matrix of people telling me, this is the only way you can earn a living. This is the only way you can make money. No, it's not. That's not truth. Okay. And there's all those other things that you will gain. And what date is this goal a reality? Okay. And for me, setting my goal as executive director for June 30th, 2023 is very realistic. That's a six month time frame to set that. All right. And the next sheet, this is what I use to help my clients. We actually write down action items and when they are due so that when they come back to me as a client, they need to have already accomplished that action item if it was set to be by the due date, okay? So that's really, really important. You need to write down your action items. All right, so questions on that part of today. Jan, what do you got going on in your mind? Um, you know, I... I don't know if I'm the right person to be doing this with. Um, I listen to this and I think about, you know, all the things that I want. And then I think about all, I don't know if they're actual distractions or if they're real. Um, I mean, I'm so busy. You all know I work for Marcy um, and I work really hard all day. And I know there's things I need to do for my own business. And then by the time the evening comes, I'm so burned out that I just want to veg on the couch and watch TV. And I do, I still am working. I'm doing busy work, stuff in envelopes and, you know, but I know I need to focus more on building my own business. I would like to hit senior presidential, but to do that, I need to help people in my business advance. 
I want to help Sue hit executive director. I want to help people hit manager and director. So I'm having a, and a new dog and I'm having a hard time, time management. I don't know what you want to call it. So I'm kind of all over the place. So help. <laughs> okay, so you are the perfect person to do the demo with Jan. <laughs> okay, so what is right now, what is the, is, what is your primary goal? What goal do you want to choose? It can be anything. It can well, be it's kind of a two-parter. Obviously, I want to hit senior presidential. Mm -hmm. I would love to hit it this month and make an extra $10,000 um, to help people in my business, um, a little bit like Marcy, where I invest a lot of what I make back into the business. Mm -hmm. And I am so happy that I have the ability to do that now, because three years ago, I couldn't help anybody. Um, so it's like, yes, I want to hit senior presidential, but I want to help every, I want to help people on my team advance. Okay. So it's a two part goal. So, so that goal um, to hit it by December 31st. Let's just check our smart smart list. Is it, um, will you be able to, to, to do that in 15 days? Mm, it's, it's possible. It's possible. But I, I, my belief is I doubt it, but it's definitely possible because I got a lot of people on my other leg doing a lot of stuff. Okay, so so in this moment, you have doubt that it'll happen. It's it's unlikely that it would it will happen. Okay, it's so possible that, but unlikely. Then that's not the goal we're going to go for. Let's go to a bigger six month within the next six months. What can you achieve? In six months, I can achieve senior presidential. I would like to help. I would like to get some people on my team hitting some higher ranks. Okay, and what date? By what date? So six months from now. So January, February, March, April, May, June, June 1st. Okay. All right. So here's comes the fun stuff. What is the very last thing that will happen to you to let you know you've achieved the goal of hitting senior presidential? Ask that again. What is the very last thing that will happen to, to let you know you've got this goal, that you've achieved senior presidential director? Um, I mean, the obvi I don't know if the answer is pretty obvious when I see in my back office that I hit senior presidential and Marcy sends out a thing and everybody goes, woohoo, congratulations, Jan, you did it, woohoo. That's okay. <laughs> okay. So perfect. So when you achieve senior presidential director, you will know this because you can go into your back office and you will see it when it pops up, your rank senior presidential director will pop up yep. and you will, you'll hear Marcy um, and you will be yelling, woohoo, and Marcy <laughs> will send that out. And how will you feel? What, what will that make you feel? It will make me feel like it, the greatest accomplishment of my life. Okay. It's going to so, make me cry. Because okay. I never in my life expected to be successful. And I've, I've been in other network marketing companies and I never had success. So to have success here with this company, with this product, with these people, and to do what I get to do has been life-changing for me. Okay, Jen. I don't know why I'm crying. <laughs> because it's a huge thing that we're, we're working and we're shifting and you just have the awareness that you actually are a success, my dear. Okay. And that's okay because this is what happens when you're shifting and creating real goals. All right. You let go of the past. So when you think about that picture of you seeing the back office, what I want you to do is I want you to now immerse yourself in it. Like you're part of the movie. Marcy and I are there clapping with you. We're yelling, we're dancing. And I want you to make 
that picture of you achieving senior presidential, I want you to turn it up. I want you to close your eyes right now. And I want you to see yourself in that moment, big and bright. I want you to allow yourself to feel the joy, the awe, the success, the confidence. I want you to hear all those sounds getting louder and louder and louder and louder. Is it super bright and big and you can see that picture? Yes. Okay. And now what I want you to do is turn it up, like turn that picture up like you're using volume and brightener on the old fashioned, old fashioned TVs and <laughs> turn those up and crank that picture up to its biggest brightest, loudest, most exuberant, joyful experience you've ever had, because we are all celebrating that Jan just hit senior presidential. Okay. And now what I want you to do is I want you to step out of the picture, out of that movie, and in front of you, hold that movie in your hand like it's a picture in a frame. Put your hands up. Hold that picture. You see that picture? Mm -hmm. How beautiful it is how big it is. Okay, now as you're sitting there, I want you to breathe four breaths into this picture, like life breaths. So you're gonna go and breathe it right into that picture. There you go. And now Jan, you are gonna float, keep your eyes shut, Keep your eyes shut, holding your picture, and I want you to rise up above your timeline, up above, and you are now able to look down, and you can see all the way out into June 1st, 2023. You can see that, and as you're floating with that picture that is so big and so bright and crackling full of energy and snapping and popping, we are now hovering right above June 1st. And we are now going to just slam that picture right into June 1st. Just drop it in there. Just throw it down into your timeline. Very good. Wow. You had a shift. So as you have done this, what I want you to do now is look out to June 6th and go there. And what do you see? I mean, June 1st. Sorry. I see my phone blowing up. I see Facebook blowing up. I see people calling me and congratulating me. Uh, I see doing a trip with Marcy and Peter someplace and just people giving me lots of kudos. And how does that feel inside? It feels amazing, but you know what's going to feel even better? What's when that? I help other people hit their goals, that will be more, that will be more important to me than me hitting senior presidential. Okay. So Jan, you have just set a goal into your timeline and what your subconscious needs to you to know is it can happen as quick as that, or it can take all the way out to June 1st. Okay. Congratulations, dear. Thank you. <laughs> So whew, who wants to put time as a goal into their timeline? Raise your hands if you want to do this. We're going to do this. We'll do it all together. Okay, we will do it all together. So I want you to get that picture of your goal in your head. And I want you to decide what is the very last thing that will happen to let you know that you've got this goal, okay? What is that very last thing? We're gonna do the exact process that I just, just did with Jan, okay? And now I want you to see that. I want you to see your goal. I want you to make it step right into a movie as if you are there now. You've already achieved your goal. What's happening? What do you hear? What do you see? And what do you feel? Are you feeling the exuberance, the excitement, the joy? Turn it up. 
turn it up bigger, turning up brighter by Heidi, brighter, turn it up louder and feel it. And you are right there in that movie with yourself right now, setting this goal, make it bigger and brighter, turn up the knobs on the television. And now what I want you to do is step out of that movie and close your eyes, hold the picture of your goal in front of you, hold that picture right there in front of you, make it bigger and brighter and louder, more excitement. You can feel the energy crackling all around you. There is like lights bursting out with brilliance, joyful sounds, happy feelings, excitement. And I want you to go to that date that you have set yourself and rise up above your timeline and down below you, you will be able to see the date and you're going to take your picture and you are going to slam it into your timeline right now. Just drop it into your timeline and let it be. And as you notice the timeline changing, you can look to the future and you can see that goal as if it's already been achieved. And when you turn and you look back to now, you already know your subconscious mind has the path and the steps to achieve your goal. So there you go. Questions, anybody have a question? I'm happy to answer any questions. I have a question. Okay. Sometimes, um, how do you know if something's an excuse or it's a reality? I don't, I don't know if it's like, is my excuse for not doing more at night because I'm tired and I deserve to just sit and veg and drink wine and watch TV? Is that an excuse? Or when I, I could be doing more? I don't know, am I making sense? For what purpose would it be an excuse? I could be reading, a, I read when I get in bed when I was sitting out in the living room, I just like to veg because, you know, it's like I, I talk to on every call. What do you hear? Who are you going to call? Jan Rand and everybody does. And my phone rings all day long, texts, emails. And by the time the evening comes, I'm so burned out that I just want to sit there and go. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> so I don't know if that's an excuse or that's my like real i mean i could okay. do more i could get on the phone and call some of my personal people and do more am i making sense absolutely jan what would it look like if you weren't answering the phones all day long um i probably wouldn't be so burned out at night Okay. But I mean, that's that's part of my job. I mean, I'm a presidential director, but everyone knows I also work for Marcy and that's my job. And I, I love it and I'm happy to do it, but it, it, it gets tiring sometimes. What would it look like if you set specific office hours for yourself as Marcy's assistant? Well, <laughs> yeah, that's a serious question. What would it look like? um the problem the okay another excuse or on every recording people hear who you're going to call jan rand and there's no unless we start saying office you know you can call her the problem is we got people on the east coast and we got people in hawaii and i'm getting texts at five o'clock in the morning and 12 o'clock at night and it's like it's it's so in my insane. brain it's hard to do that okay so, so I don't know if these are excuses or they're, realities. They're not excuses, Jan. They're not excuses. This is what, what you're literally living through. Okay. So that's, that's reality. All right, honey. So when you, um, you have to set boundaries. 
becoming a senior presidential director, becoming a presidential director, any, any rank, you are going to incur more um, tasks because that's what we've decided to do, okay? We have to follow up with the people that we are sharing with or what's the whole point? You're just flushing money down the toilet, right? Mm -hmm. And so we, um, when we decide to join these ranks, that comes with more responsibility, all right? At the same time, you have the ability to set personal boundaries and to say, I can only take phone calls and texts from people until 4 p.m. Pacific time, 5 p.m. Pacific time, whatever time you choose. We've been trained on Zooms to say, and if you need help, call Jan Ran. Okay. But I can just as easily say, if you need help, you can reach Jan Rand until 4 p.m. Pacific time. Okay. And what that's going to do is that's going to make those people that want to contact Jan Rand have to adjust and be responsible for themselves. And so they will pick the phone up at 455, some of them, and call you because it's almost 5 p.m., but they're still going to do it. And then you have the ability to say, okay, I'm going to, we're going to talk about this, but I can only give you five more minutes. Okay. Or you can give them 10 minutes. And that is about setting your boundaries to protect yourself from, um, one, losing energy. Okay. Because you are tired and it does take a lot of work. I know what you do. You are mind blowing that you're also a presidential director. <laughs> so, so allowing yourself the awareness that it's okay to say you can contact me. I mean, what's the earliest you would want to be contacted Pacific time? Eight o'clock, eight in the morning, 8 a.m. Pacific time. And how late would you want to be contacted? guess five yeah five because then we got zooms at night so okay. eight, eight to five i guess all right and so there we have it everybody that's on this call has the awareness now that jan rand is available for help between 8 a.m and 5 p.m pacific time and i am going to task everybody on here with sharing that with one person okay Everybody on this call, there are 26 people. Hire another Jan Rand for different time zones. <laughs> she was good boundaries. That will show Marcy that you are one person and she needs to add to her team. Half day to you, your number and half day to another or Monday, Wednesday, Friday. It's a good, good call, Laura. Um, and just so you know, Jan is Marcy's right arm. 100%. I know that. And um, I've experienced it. I, I just that's so funny hire another me we need to clone you jan rand and then that'll be fine right no i think maybe like i might ask one of my neighbors if i just gave her the the busy work like the labels the envelopes and had her account and stuff um that would help a lot so maybe just pay a neighbor you know 100 bucks to to do some of the busy stuff and because you're going to be hitting senior presidential and earning that extra income, how cool is that, that you are able to pay $100 to do that? Yeah. And take okay. that big aspect of your um, life out, because then what's that going to do? Free up time. And by freeing that time up, what could happen by December 31st of 2022? Well, I can focus more on my team and doing the stuff that I know I'm supposed to do that I'm not so great at getting it done. Okay. And there you have it. And that my friends is called using your resources. And you see how Jan just walked through that whole process of she had a mind shift. Okay. She had a mind shift. Congratulations, Jan. Everybody's happy for you doll. 
All right, I wanna hear from somebody else, somebody's challenges, what they think might be excuses of real life. So I'm not alone here whining. Oh, I, I, I just had a couple questions. I'm kind of new to this. My name's Daniel Johnston. Hi, I, Daniel. Uh, was, Hi, Daniel. I was invited by Micah. Uh, hey, Jan, I, I emailed you a, a few uh, times uh, for samples. Um, I hope I answered. <laughs> Uh, no, I didn't get any response. Oh, but I, fig I did figured. I you out, just... Did I send out the samples? Uh, well, I haven't received them yet, but it would just happen. And uh, Micah informed me that it can take 10 to 14 business days. Where, where did you send the request? Uh, J, uh, Jan J. Rand at gmail.com. Okay, I don't recall seeing it. All right, Daniel, give me a number. I'm going to call you offline. What's okay, your phone number? 856 mm -hmm. 759-2557. All right, I'll call you after this and we'll take care okay, of that. Okay, great, thank okay. you. Perfect. And uh, just the other question was, um, you have to have an active auto ship on uh, to be able to use your own specified uh, LifeWave link to get credit for it. Is that correct? No. Um, to be active, you have to buy something each month. You can either be on auto ship or you could just buy something. You don't have to be on auto ship. It's easier so you don't forget. Or you could do like the three month maintenance pack, which is great because then you don't have to pay for shipping. You get all your product and then you're covered for three months or you could do a six months maintenance plan. That's what I do um, oh. every six months. So I just don't have to think about it. Uh, oh, you just yeah. have to buy something to stay active. If you want to build a business, be a manager or hire, you have to do 110 points per month. And if you have a preferred customer that those points from him would count towards your own personal volume. Okay. Um, now, Micah had told me that I do have some people under me, uh -huh. um, but I don't know anything really else than that. And I do, would I have access to the back channel to be able to see? Yeah, Daniel, when I talk to you, you and I will set up a Zoom and we'll go in and I'll teach you your back office and how to read everything. Awesome, thank you. All right, Jen. so you and I will do that because you're actually on my team. So I'll help you with that. Awesome. Thank okay. You. I'll let, yeah, I'll let someone else answer. Yeah, we'll, we'll get on in Zoom. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. See, this is all about activating and elevating. And that's what we're doing here. We are going to help Daniel elevate. Absolutely. Somebody else speak up with an issue that they're having that's keeping you in the mud. I see Mary open there. I see Mary ready to. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we've gone through a lot of people prospecting and um, gotten a lot of no's, you know, but have also gained some uh, some downline, et cetera. But when it gets to the point where you live in a little, little bitty town and like 300 people, you've talked about all of them, talked about all of them. And uh, you so you run out of names and your closest town is like 20 minutes away. And, you know, so that's our challenge right now is uh, getting those people to make contact with. And we do go downtown maybe weekly or every, every few days and sit in a restaurant, a cafe that is open space, so to speak. It's not round table, so you can talk with your neighbors and that kind of stuff. And we've done a lot of that, you know, um, but uh, we're still following up with many of them as well. But just getting those making those contacts. So, you know, we've tried stuff on Facebook as well as Messenger and, you know, but any suggestions you would have, we appreciate um, I'll give one and then I'll let Sheila answer. Um, so the guy that Daniel was talking about, his name is Micah and uh -huh. he's, he does a lot of stuff online and he does something with, um, oh, Daniel, help me out. What's the thing that Micah does? Um, it's one of those, um, Oh, hold on. I have it on my phone. Sheila, do you know what I'm talking about? There, it's a protocol. He does protocols with um, the patches What's as the well. Group? As... What's the group that he does online? 
Oh, Clubhouse? Clubhouse. Okay, so there's something Clubhouse. called Clubhouse okay. that you can join, and they have different groups of things that you're interested in. And Micah is sponsoring people every day through that. I'm wow. not real familiar with it, but we're going to have, he's going to teach us how to do that, I think, next week sometime. Okay, good. I'd like to know. So, that's, yeah, there's a lot of that's stuff. That's really easy. What, Super. Daniel? I'm sorry, Jen, to interject. I was just saying uh, it's very easy to learn. You just uh, download the app, um, sign up with your phone number, put a description in uh, for your profile. And it's basically like uh, a community where you just get into a group and a bunch of people are in the same room and they talk about whatever topic that is listed on the clubhouse room. Wow. Interesting. Yeah, and that's where Mike got me in. Every day he's bringing people in from that. Wow. And so that's it's, uh, clubhouse.com or something just like go that? To, go on your phone to your uh -huh. app store and look for Clubhouse. Okay. Yep. And then uh, when I learn more about it, I'll share with you. But he, he's blowing it up with that. Wonderful. Wonderful. And then okay. I don't know what um, I go... You know, I'm like you, I work from home. I don't meet a whole lot of people. So I go to Pilates and I'm always yeah. listening for conversations where I can, you know, butt in a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, Sheila, how would you answer that? Well, I um, agree with the Clubhouse part of this. I got into Clubhouse over um, back in the beginning of 2021. Oh. And when I got in there, I was actually trying to stir up groups myself or create little groups that were talking about life wave and it was just so new and oh yeah yeah but today the other day marcy um after office hours was the first time i went on to clubhouse i actually had to download the app again because i had taken it off my phone because oh. one of those things that can be very addicting. <laughs> what well, you like to sponsor people. <laughs> literally in a room and people are talking and yeah. they're from all over the planet and they're talking about all different subjects. Wow. And honestly, where I got my story condensed was because of Clubhouse. I went oh. on into a room and a gentleman named Charles Vest was teaching how to um, he'd have everybody do what's your elevator speech, you know, who are you in a really short time. And so I went on and I'm like, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> he's like, wow, no, you need to cut it down. And so the next day I came back into his room and he says, you're back. And I said, yeah, here it is. And he's like, that's it. <laughs> yeah. So Sound like Toastmasters. Kind exactly. of. You can, you can learn so much from clubhouse and you can you can build a business through that you really i believe you can i really wonderful do. well we'll we'll do it <laughs> yeah. thank you so much okay Sheila, there's a great question mm -hmm. in the chat and i know i have this problem i know lots of people have this problem my challenge is getting my brand partners started I've had several that were very interested, but then don't even start their list and I don't push. Okay, well. That's a good one. Roberta, it depends. Okay, I we have a, my, my friend Kathleen, who's my partner, my business partner. Um, we have a downline person that has one of her downline. A week ago, she called us and said, hey, Susie Q has four people that she she's talking to and wants to get signed up and we're like great let us know these four people's names mm -hmm. we we can't even get the direct downline's name right yet i mean i mean phone number it's really weird i'm we're having a trouble with this and i sent her a message today my direct and i said look if you don't get those phone numbers or a phone number for Naomi to or no Naomi to us, then how can we help her? We are the ones that are out here sharing and we're telling people, hey, I've got this tool I finally found that changed my life. And then you're just going to leave them hanging. So sometimes you have to step up and you have to get a little bit rougher. 
And I don't mean knock them around, but I mean, hey, are you really wanting to help these people? If you don't want to, sh you know, to talk to them yourself, give me their names, give me their phone number, and I will give them the answer that they've been praying to God for. Okay. Does that make sense, Roberta? And I, um, I just started using this, the getting started checklist that you can get off of startx39biz.com. And this could be something good that when you sign somebody up, um, just at the top, you can write down what their username is, their password, their ID number. And just, it asks uh, my time, how many days per week can I commit to LifeWave? How many hours per day? What's my commitment to attend review and testimonials? So you can ask these questions. There's a lot of good stuff on here um, and find out from them what their commitment is. So you know how much you could push or not push. If they say, you know, I'll do two Zooms a week and they're not, you can call and say, hey, you know, when we talked about this, this is what you told me, you know, what's changed, right. you know? So this is a really good tool to use. Um, I believe it's on, startx39biz.com maybe under resources i have um, it yeah it's good it's a good thing to use and like uh, sheila said sometimes when you know the person you got to get a little bit tough and if you're not getting through to them call your upline because we can call and just say hey my name's jen i'm part of your support team i saw you join the business how can i be of service you know, and let us be that person, take the pressure off of you, um, you know, so that that's another way that you can go. And that's yeah. one of the things that I need to start okay. doing that I, I don't have the time for. Um, I have to make the time to do that. The other, the other question too, Roberta, is are these people that have said out of the shoot, oh, I want to build a business? <laughs> Three of, of the six people that signed as brand partners with me so far, three really wanted to build the business and, and they, you know, they have a couple no's and you encourage them, but they just, they just fade off into the, and I, I've been in business my whole life. So I know that it takes more effort than not in order to be successful. It's just, it, you have to bite at it a little at a time every day. And um, a lot of people are too impatient. They want a big windfall right away and it doesn't it doesn't work that way. So this it's, it's trying to get the psychology across at the same time, motivating them. And I'm like, I'm not, I'll, I'll water them a few times, but if they're, if they're not, participating I, I don't feel like it's a good it's a good um way to spend my time and that is critical okay Roberta you have to make a decision at some point just like with our leads that we you know follow up in office hours I mean I cannot tell you how many I have said crossed the finish line in my book because after after constant, you know, six, eight weeks of gently dripping and watering, there comes a point. Doesn't mean no necessarily, but it means not now, right? And right. You can only you have to decide when enough is enough and when you have to shift gears and move to the next person. Because maybe you're focusing on someone right now that they don't want to do it even though they thought they did okay and, they're and then you miss out on on other opportunities because you've put a lot of energy into something that you shouldn't exactly. yeah and you'll do. learn sometimes people i've had so many people tell me how great they are and how much they're going to do and they're wonderful and they know so many people and the next day they completely ghost you and disappear oh. Don't ever tell me how great you are. Just show me. <laughs> That's right. And, uh, you know, something that I was going to say for Mary, too. Um, try an event where somebody wants to have you at their home and invite their friends. Okay. Um, go we to do West something called, we call it um, age reversal party. Beautiful. We call it a, and we have it set up where 
uh, if they have the um, a YouTube app on their television set, you can pull down a really good video of David Schmidt explaining. So you have the party like you would a Tupperware party. You bring all kinds of little tchotchkes, you know, give, give them all one um, patch, just have a lot of fun with it, play a, a game if you want to, because, you know, any, any, you can set it up. It's, it's only limited by your imagination, but um, I have yet to do a party, but Kathy McCarthy did, and she, she's done quite a few and had huge successes uh, with it. And there's a I do belly to belly booth. And, and we all have our Facebook and stuff. website too, right? Yeah. We all have the Alavita. So, you know, that's the one of the beautiful things about LifeWave that you can adjust your goals. Do you want to come out and be about age reversal? Okay. Do you want to be about um, um, healing wounds or, or other things? I mean, you really can take uh, LifeWave from different perspectives. You can go from maybe you're a big, huge animal lover and you have horses or you are friends with vets. Go to the vets, go with AccuLife. There are other ways to achieve that same goal of ranking up, of building a business if we open our minds to it and allow our subconscious to start helping us. Age reversal is as much about the inside as outside. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> yes. Noemi. Um, I have a. Go ahead. Ann. I have an invitation. But I don't know how to share it. I don't know how to share that on. Okay. There's a. Um, in the chat there's a little smiley face on the right. And then there's like a paper next uh -huh. to it. If you click that paper, yes. it shows different areas that you can bring something out of and share it. Your computer. And so your I computer, just hope it doesn't bring the home. It'll only and then here it post is. what you want. Okay. Sheila. Yes. No, it won't um, let me. While, she, while she's looking for that, let me just say I have quite a downline and I have a lot of people working the business and what I do is I send out the all the calls every day I send out what's happening that day what time send the link in it all they have to do is click on the link and they're in I and do that. I, yeah a lot of people that are on the calls um, and I have one downline that does the same thing and he's grown so big, um, that I told him, I can't send to your people. <laughs> I send to my people and he sends to his people and, um, it's really growing and those people are all working the business and it's so much fun because I really connect with them and I'm struggling. What I'm struggling with Jan is do I work with my people or do I spend time going out and looking for more people. Of course, I'm always looking for more people, but I spend the majority of my time working with my downline because I want them to be sufficient. I want them to be successful. And um, yes. that's that's the way I do it. Do you, how, when you send, you said you send it to your people, are you sending um, individually each one or do you group text it how do you put that together in the format it's, What's your format? it's a group text i have a group text and i will um call my people when they join i will send out a welcome uh text to them and then our team also has a welcome email that we send out and we also have a wonderful saturday morning email that we send out uh, my upline creates it for me and for all her group, and I copy and paste it and send it out to my downline, and everybody knows about everything that's going on during the week. Um, it's also got doctor's call in it. It's just got links everywhere in it. And of course, startx39biz.com, every tool that they need is in that email. Deb, so, Deborah, would you do me a favor? Would you email that to me? Sure. Okay. Do I'll put my email in chat. 
I have it. Oh, Jan J. Rand at Gmail. Okay, yeah. I would appreciate that. Yeah. Yeah. that. So um, we're under Rose. Oh, Rose Holmer. Mm hmm. Um, and, um, so, but it's my upline that's under Rose that does this wonderful email and we just put all the tools right in their hand. So if they want to work the business, they can get up and run. And if they don't, they don't, you know, um, but we do, I do work closely with my people and I contact them. I call them, Hey, how's it going? What are you doing? What are the patches doing? And, you know, um, who was it that um, was saying they live in a small town? My town is about 2000 people and I don't have very many people in my town under, well, I do, I do. Uh, but anyway, um, you can ask your downline, who do they know? Um, and, and even if people are preferred customers and don't wanna do the business, who do they know that's suffering? Exactly. Yeah, when you can become the master at working your downline's warm market, that's when you have it made. And that's what Marcy has become the master of working with her downline to get them to make a list and helping contact those people. That's, that's where the money is. Yeah. Okay. So I just put the PDF of um, what I shared with you. The smart goals is in the um, chat there for everybody. Okay. So we have just a few more minutes. And I promised we were going to talk about Project 369. That is this book, Project 369, The Key to the Universe. This is called Final Edition Revised. What this book is about is Tesla, his principles of math. And this is all about that right there. And he it talks about 369 or the keys to the universe. And what they are doing in this book you have spaces to write down go to it, your goals, what you're going to manifest in the morning. And then you do it in the afternoon and then you do it at night. In the morning, you write your goal three times. In the afternoon, you write it down six times. And at night, you write it down nine. And at night, you want to do it fairly close to when you're ready to go to sleep. And the reason you're doing it then is because your brain waves are different and you're literally going to take that information that you are writing those nine times and you're going to use your, your subconscious is going to start utilizing it. It's another part of the goals. And so I, this was, this is literally my three, six, nine book. I have written on every single page. And I started doing this, I, I don't know, April or May of this last year um, in 2022, when my friend Kathleen turned me on to it. And so we actually have a, a messenger chat group for our little team where we put in, if I write my goals, then I, my three in the morning, then we just put three. Yes. This is reprogramming our subconscious mind and getting rid of negative paradigms. And that is critical. And um, by doing Project 369, you are allowing yourself literally as if now. So here, let me read one of mine. And Daniel, I now, I, oh, sorry. I now magnetically draw to me people choosing improved health, wealth, vitality and age reversal. Okay. That's what I want people to come to me, right? Go ahead, Jan, ask your question. Oh, I was just going to say, Daniel um, wanted to say something at the end of the meeting. So I just wanted him to know I saw that. Okay. All right. And um, so, yes, Nancy, we are um, utilizing the subconscious mind to get rid of limiting decisions, negative beliefs, um, and the paradigms. And that's one of the things that I do in my other life is help people get rid of that stuff and that's why i wanted to share it with you guys here today because we can all shift we can all get rid of limiting beliefs and decisions if we can believe that that little white patch that little circle can take things in my body without me seeing it and make a difference 
then we can believe that we can shift all those limiting decisions and make new ones too. Daniel, what would you like to say, buddy? Hold on, you got to unmute. It's okay. We are patient. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, yeah, Jan, I just wanted to mention, um, I may, uh, uh, Micah was texting me, that's why I was uh, writing. Um, he wants me to co-host a room on Clubhouse at four. Um, how long would the, our meeting take? For which time zone, Daniel? 4 p.m. Oh, e uh, EST, I'm sorry. Okay, so... Um, it's 3.30 right now. He wants to meet a co-host with him at four. And I either, oh, you're on mute, Jan. We're, we're done. We're just finishing up now, Daniel. Sorry, Daniel, I'll call you. We'll set it up for tomorrow. I, I can't do it today. I'll okay, call you and we'll set it up for tomorrow. Awesome, okay. that works better. Yeah. And uh, just to tell everyone in the audience um, what kind of heart Micah has, mm -hmm. um, the only reason I met him is he saw my profile on Clubhouse and saw that, you know, I was a C2 skeletally decapitated survivor with a spinal cord injury and all that. And he's like, hey, man, I would just like to help you heal more with uh, my protocols. And I was like, cool, let me let me know what you got. And uh, the rest is history. Now we're uh, seeking funding uh from angel investors to open a therapeutic center in my home uh to do his protocols and he wants to use me as like uh i guess the poster child for uh recovery awesome so, yeah we're super excited that is all right i'll call you in a minute daniel all right thank you so much guys yeah. so i hope you guys enjoyed this I hope that we, I don't hope, I know we were all going to scream and yell and be clapping our hands when Jan Rand hits senior presidential director, because that is in her and it's going to happen now. And uh, next week, she said she's coming. She told <laughs> me it's real and I'm going to believe her. We are going to have Marcy Pribble as our guest next week. And I'm hoping that you all will come and show up and be here with us and share and get it out to everybody. We love you. Jan? Love you guys. Thanks for listening today. This is good training for me as well. <laughs> Thanks, Sheila. I love you. Love you too, I'm Jan. Waiting for my package. <laughs> it should be there today or tomorrow. <laughs> All right, kids. All right. Love you guys. Okay. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Love you guys. Bye-bye.